Hi, Coach Dean Landsman back here with you on segment three of our goal line package. Uh, last one we discussed our front six on their alignment and their progression in terms of when the ball was snapped. Now I'm going to go through our back five that we have. We still have one linebacker, our Mike linebacker, depending on where we're at on the field, but if it's short yardage, we want our Mike linebacker three yards off the ball. That allows him, he doesn't get caught up in the traffic. He can see what's going on. If they do a quarterback sneak, he's coming right up to play that. Otherwise, what he is doing is he is mirroring the ball, and he's playing everything inside out. Right? All our gaps are controlled up inside, but he's going to, if the ball, obviously if they come to our left here, he's going to play everything inside out and try and make everything bounce or make the play as they come up inside. Our two safeties. On this side, we would have our free safety stacked right behind our end and our strong safety to that side. They are also three yards off the ball. And they still have to make their run, pass, read. So they are still looking through to the tackle, how we play it on offense, to see if they get that high hat off the line of scrimmage when the ball is snapped or they get a run key. If it is a run key, right? remember our ends are playing inside C-gap, so our safeties have now outside D-gap responsibility on the run. Same thing on this side. C-gap, outside D-gap on run situation. Now we have our corners. Our corners, generally what we do Anytime we switch to a goal line situation, we will lock up man to man. So he's basically going to be taking the flanker in this situation, man to man. Hopefully, all right, we're still we're going to take care of the run here. Obviously, if we come out and he gets a he gets a blocking situation from the flanker, he's going to swing his head to see what's happening. On this side, a little easier because the corner over here doesn't have a first threat receiver. So his eyes are automatically going to be looking into the backfield to see what kind of action is taking place. He's still going to be reading run pass. Backside corner, we play with an outside look. We play inside shade. So he's actually trying to read what that flanker is going to do. That is our run situation. If it is a pass situation, if we get a high hat off the line of scrimmage, all right, we're playing man-to-man. -man. So what happens is this corner obviously is going to lock up there. Our strong safety is going to lock up with the tight end man-to-man. -man. Linebacker obviously is going to have a number three receiver out to this side, so we're looking for a back out to the flats, maybe full back up and out. Same thing to this side. All right? He has help over here because we already have a free corner. But our free safety in this situation will take the tight end. Now, if they've got him split, obviously that becomes a corner's man. Our free